Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, it is a special reading. It's a it's a full year ahead reading for you. And I'm going to do it on a quarterly uh, tarot reading. So we will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship. This is special year ahead reading for the Sagittarius sign, the Sagittarius babies. Let us see what's coming towards you. Please be... Please be mindful that we are in Mercury retrograde while I was doing this. And I'm getting a lot of technical glitch, to be honest with you guys. So let us see what's coming towards you the first quarter of this year in love, career, finance, and general situationship. This is a Sagittarius reading. What is the message for Sagittarius, please? What can I get for Sagittarius in love, relationship, dating, getting to know, career, finance, money, and general situationship for the first quarter of 2023? What's the big changes, transformation, offer, red flag, you know, red flags? What is the advice for Sagittarius first quarter? Wow. <laughs> You've got the tower card. This is a mission critical message. So for some of you, the first quarter of 2023, it is mission impossible to possible. Okay. Again, I'm really, you're really into a competition and you're not competing to somebody, to someone, but you are in the race to success, Sagittarius. The tower card, the ten of swords, Something tells me that you don't want bad vibe, bad people, bad offer. You don't want darkness. You are going to break. I would say because Jupiter is going to be in Aries. This Aries is the sign of rule, the, you know, dominance and authority. And this is so close to your vibe, your energy, because it's also a fire sign. You... You don't believe in bad vibe anymore. There is something authentic and original and you're thinking out of the box. So you, the Ten of Swords, the Tower card, you think of the way you start or kick in with 2023, the first quarter is that you tell me this is impossible. No, I'll make sure, I'll make sure that it is possible. So the Tower card, the Ten of Swords, you're going to burn bridges and create new bridge to make things happen for you so you have this mission critical message that if this gets me here then i am willing to burn or create a bridge to get there so you don't you don't have limitation like i'm kind of picking up the first quarter of 2023 sagittarius for you it is like you want to be head of the game okay you're so driven, like, enough of this drama, like, you look at Ten of Swords, this is so boring, I'm so bored with the old, I want to remove it, I want to burn it, I want to create a new bridge, a new life, a new thing, a new, I don't know, you're tapping into a new dimension of yourself, you are tapping into, I would say, I would say you don't like what you don't like, you don't like the, the, the 20, there's something tells me that you don't like what is normal. <laughs> like you're really, you're rolling into the deep, like the, the, the like I'm, I'm picking up criticism, you know, I'm, I'm picking up 10 of swords, Sag, this is ambitious, Sag, this, you're creative, you're so ambitious and creative that the way you think, it's ahead of the game like whenever you present ideas or share your thoughts your feelings your views to your friends to the company to your business partner they think of you that's impossible and you're like no that is possible because you guys think i cannot do it but I, but i can't do it so you're coming to me as like a sagittarius who would like to invent you know, there's solution out there. There are ways to get to whatever you want, but you have a different ways. Like you wanna maximize the first quarter of 2023 to 
achieve as more as much as possible with the tower card the tower card the ten of swords i'm bored i'm bored with this career with this life i want to create something out of the box i want to be ahead of the game so anything anybody anyone who doesn't i would say support or believe you you're going to give them you're going to bring them the tower like okay this doesn't believe you might go solo for some of you guys the first quarter of 2023 you're going to break the norms. You're going to break the cycle. You're going to break down every bit of pieces. Like, like every tiny details that it says no, it says no, I would say yes. So something tells me, something tells me that you're going to turn the, turn, like you're going to turn things the way around. You're going to find, you know, I'm going to picking up like, because this is like innovation. I don't know. You're going to invent a rule. You're going to invent an answer. If there's an answer, you're going to invent an answer. If there is no bridge, you're going to create a bridge. So something tells me that you're so ahead of the game that the people around you, the friends around you, they never thought or th like they never think of your strategy. Like you come across so strong, immensely strong, that you're a threat to someone's business that you might go solo like i'm seeing you because nobody believes you or nobody supports you you might do something on your own because you feel like okay you don't want to believe me i'll create it i'll create a world where my rules my think of may think like you're so original and unique i'd say whatever you're going to propose you're going to say it's going to think out of the box like you're so advanced and in you no know, in your innovation is like you're so ahead of your game that whatever you're thinking right now or proposing right now, the result, like it's, it, for some people, Sag, most especially if you're creative, like if you're thinking business, proposal. So for some of you guys, you're so young, but you're already thinking of retiring. You're already thinking of what business for you to have so you can retire and travel and work at the same time remotely work and travel at the same time you're gonna break the rule you're gonna break the norms and you are gonna be you're gonna lead you know your friends like you would do this and a friend tell you or a family know that's impossible and then you do it and your idea your innovation your vision comes alive the first quarter they're gonna follow you so for some of you guys i'm kind of picking up if you got some ideas if you've got some vision if you got some amazing views and opinions, an extraordinary solution, keep it to yourself because that could transform into money. You've got some creative idea, you've got some creative thoughts, you've got some invention, innovation, like visionaries. The way you vision, solution, it's for way beyond this time or way beyond the time that other people think. You know, like maybe some people think of the first six months you think of the full two years effect so that's how advanced you are so i feel like the first quarter of 2023 you might feel like oh it's a struggle for me to present to defend to get followers supporters or to be approved of my ideas my creativity then you're channeling or you're with the wrong people okay if you feel like you're getting blocked from people around you that's not the right company that's not the right of group of people you that's why i'm kind of picking up the tower card the ten of swords and it's only the first quarter you're gonna go solo and that's okay because you're gonna get all the money and you don't have to share it you just share it with your friends or family so you yeah look at that the lover's card something tells me that you're gonna fall in love with innovation with unique strategy with originality okay you know, for some of you, some of your friends or family will laugh at your ideas. For some of you guys, they will mock you. But you're like, see, like even your closest friends or family relatives will look at you, Sagittarius, and say, Sag, that's a bit ambitious. And you're like, you just see. You just wait and see because you're being guided by the angels. You're being guided by the universe. Who would give you that thought, that vibe? You're being supported by the hand of the universe, by the fate of the universe the fate of the universe is within you it's more of the universe is betting on you i bet you sagittarius will break the norms so for some of you i'm kind of picking up there is a okay 
you will burn boundaries you will burn limitation you will invent you will be innovative so the more you get criticism with your idea the more it's going to generate pr production productivity and money the more unique the more eccentric the more money remember that for some of you there's going to be a relationship january february march april there is love around you romantic situation there's loving support for some of you there's a very unique situation or romantic situation maybe platonic but there's a very unique relationship that would come around you know what you just accept because i feel like you don't like with this tower card and the ten of swords you might lose some believers supporters you might gain like friends could turn into critics or the people that's supposed to, for example, your manager that's supposed to help you out. Not that they will turn against you, but they might critic you. They might, people will create, people who doesn't believe on you will create block on you, Sag, okay? Your idea, innovation, plan, target is eccentrically, uniquely out of the box. So if you feel like in a group of people or talking to a person, you feel like, they're mocking you or they don't believe you stop don't listen to them don't listen to them listen to the angel because you're being guided to do you're being guided to do something great above and beyond and put and people who's ordinary will never understand you you will connect with the right minded individual you will connect with the people who will support you and understand you these are the people that are extraordinary you will have an extraordinary connection. It's quite eccentric. It's quite unique. It could be that you'll fall in love or you're going to have a relationship or you're going to It could be a platonic, a business, professional. It could be romantic. But you will develop a relationship that is, I would say, uniquely, um, uniquely set up. Some people doesn't support you or some people doesn't understand you but eventually this will fall into places so there's a yeah ace of cups look at that look at that so you've got love support and it will come in a unique way so for some of you this for some of you guys your family always support you when it comes to this but for some reason they prevent you but if you listen to your vibe your vibe is telling you i can do it i can do it i can do it and you follow your vibe and yes you can do it and uniquely as you follow your confidence, your vibe, your intuition, you will discover along people or energy that is supportive of your unique or extra, extra vibe. So you will meet extra, like in the first four months, you would come across, I would say, inventors, scientists. I would say eccentrically like-minded but ambitious, creative, fun, quirky, loving people, okay? So for some of you, the lover's card, the ace of cups, you're gonna fall in love with unique but good vibe, looking people, or a unique setup, a think out of the box setup. So for some of you guys, you don't normally go for a long distance relationship. You will have a long distance relationship and you will break boundaries and eventually things will fall into places and this person and yourself will find a way to make it happen you know what i'm really picking up in here i'm not sure if you watch the netflix you know harry and megan like that romeo and juliet kind of story some people are going to be there are in love and business and career and finance for the first quarter of 2023 you will have a lot of i would say not critics but i would say there would be a lot of people that would comment and be indirectly against whatever you want to do whatever you want to achieve whoever is with you maybe in terms of friendship or romantic there would be there would be because you're unique you're different Sanj. the first quarter of 2023 it is i would say ahead of the game it's innovation it's invention because you're such a unique way thinker a un an out of out of the box thinker 
power card, lover's card, ace of cups. The normal people around you who supports you, who loves you, they might critic you. Don't listen to them. You just listen to your intuition. Because if they don't support you, or I would say not very supportive, let's put it that way. If they're not very supportive, you know, you would you would notice that this friend of yours, they normally enjoy talking to you about your ambition. And for some reason, they don't want to talk about your unique, eccentric, but possible ambition, situation. Somehow, they will be put off, but don't be disheartened because the universe will replace that with other-minded, like individual. Okay? So, you would, I would say, meet a lot of the first quarter, you would invent, you would be innovative. You're full of confidence that your idea is going to materialize. It's going to happen. Whether they say this is impossible, you say it's possible. So you're full of drive and full of vibe to make it happen, regardless of what the world say. But for as long as you're vibe, the universe is backing you up. Go for it. Go for gold. I, I wouldn't even say go for big. It's not big. It's unique. Okay, And because you're unique, you think out of the box, you will attract the same kind of vibe. Even lovers, you know, even lovers, even lovers, new friends, new acquaintance, business partner, it will work for you because you you guys have the same, the lovers are the ace of cups, you know. I'm saying around the month of Feb and March, you're going to fall in love and you're also going to have a business partnership or proposal for this. So don't be disheartened. Don't listen to the noises, to the naysayers about your ambition. And I will, you know, guys, what I'm picking up in here, be quiet, be silent. There is something that you are thinking creatively in the first new moon, you know, of 2023. You will create an amazing idea. Keep it with you. Keep it hush hush. So it's not even it's not give an evil eye. Protect your idea. Protect your crop copyright. Don't give it away. Don't share it. You could get money, money, money. Invention. Okay? Yeah. Strength card. Keep the lion. I'm seeing one, one, one. Look at that. Go for eleven minutes, eleven seconds. This one. So protect your invention. Protect your product. Protect your creativity. Protect your idea. Protect your love. For some of you guys, I'm kind of picking up you will have a relationship. And you don't want to tell your family and friends. You want to keep it secret. Because it's so unique. It's so unique. It's so uniquely set up. That you probably will tell them when everything is normal. Something tells me. You know this vibe. I'm kind of picking up. Because you're so unique. Innovation. Inventive. Thinking out of the box. Not all the people would understand you. So you keep. You keep your. Like, don't over-defend yourself. You just keep it quiet. You're going to go solo. You're going to be successful. You keep your idea with you. Because your idea, it's going to flourish. It's going to happen. It's breaking, you know, it's breaking the norms. Whatever. Like, you are a breakout artist. What do you call that? Like, you know. Like, you are, like, you will be discoverable. Like, you will discover fame. You will be discovered unexpectedly because of your idea. You will get lots of sales. You'll get money. You'll get productive. You will be discover or you will discover something because you're so curious and you have an appetite of breaking the norms. And you will attract the same lover's vibe in here. And for some of you guys, because you're going to be successful, you're going to hit the milestone as early as first quarter. You're going to hit the jackpot. You're going to get some result. Good, good result. You're going to keep it quiet. You're going to keep it silent. And your friends, your family, the people around you who critics you, even, you know, even your exes will find out that you're going to be, like, you're going to be discoverable because of your unique idea. You're going to be discovered. This is good, Sag. Lover's card is trying a piece of cup. So, no matter how you, you'll be successful and you're going to keep it quiet. In, you're going to fall in love. You're going to get a good, good job, good commission, good money, something good, something good. It's going to happen to you. It's not, it's not even good. Something extraordinary, beautiful. It's going to happen to you in the first quarter. And it's going to happen for you because you did not listen to the naysayers, to the bashers, to the critics. You just keep on going. And then you discover this fame 
or love or business or culture or something that will generate money or love to your life in the first quarter. You will discover it, discoverable. You're going to keep it quiet. You know, it's more of, I'm so rich right now, I'm going to keep it quiet to be humble. Or, I have a love right now, I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to smile and be quiet because you're inside, you're so happy. You've got something. You don't want to share it with... You know, with anybody, with just anybody, they will find out. They will find out because you're glowing and you're famous. Something tells me you are going to get something amazing that you're going to keep it because you want to keep it grounded. You want to keep it protected, but you're still going to be discoverable. The first quarter of 2023, you will be discoverable because you're innovation. You're inventive. You think out of the box. But you won't give away all of the details. So I'm seeing you with a quiet smile and saying, I won or I got love. You say, I'm not, I'm not going to get love. I got love. I'm going to keep it quiet. Or I'm successful. You're wrong. So you're going to you're going to look at your naysayer. You're going to look at your bashers, your critics with, with a smile. You're going to give them with a smile because you're so successful that you don't have words to tell them. You're so successful, you're so happy, you're so glowing that you don't even have the time to explain that, hey, you told me it's not going to work, or here I am. You don't even have time. You're just going to give them a smile. And deep inside, you're celebrating because you've got so much abundance, you get so much love because you believe in yourself. Okay? First quarter. It's only first quarter. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what else is coming towards you in the second quarter of this year. Okay. Second quarter of this year. Second quarter of this year, Sagittarius. <clears throat> well, I told you guys the second quarter of 2023 this is you're gonna lay low if the first quarter is all about you're ahead of the game by second quarter of 2023 you are going to be amazed because you're gonna get results okay you're you like you're gonna get results and somehow you're scared you have four of wands somehow guys there is a feeling that the second quarter this is too good to be true you could possibly be so rich and so in love at the same time. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You could be very scared of the amount of money, the amount of love, the amount of happiness that you will have. Something scary because it's too good to be true. Because I'm kind of picking up, wow, this is epic. Like something tells me the second quarter, it's like fireworks, you know? Like there is some sort of four of wands, there's a part of you in the second quarter of 2023 where it's only the second quarter of 2023 and I'm so happy and I'm so feel, I, I feel the abundance around me. I feel success. Like your energy is surging, like a surge, like this four of wands, this is already stability. You will get something. You will get something that you don't want to share to the world, but they will find out, you know. Um... People will start, those people in the past will start to ring. There is, you know, when you are the first quarter of 2023, you are really, really working hard. You're, you're working hard, working towards the top of the ladder. Now you reach that point where you work hard. You're now maintaining something or still working for some of you guys, four of wands. But there's some sort of success. There's some sort of completion and success for the first quarter. Now, in the second quarter, you're still, I would say, hustling, grinding, working. You know, for some of you, you're going to put a boundaries or strict timeline to yourself. I feel like the second quarter is about discipline. By this time, your head, you want to ground it. Like, it's so, like, I'm kind of picking four of wands, like, Romantic is good, money is good, king of swords. So how do I protect this? There's something that you would you would like to protect. 
in the second quarter of 2023. You want to protect yourself from, like you want to keep yourself grounded and humble for the success. You could, be, you could be so famous, guys, for some of you. And then Five of Swords, you also don't want to, you want to limit the people that knows your relationship because a lot of people will ring in. A lot of people will ring in. I'm getting a lot of people, person, situation that will call you if you're working in a media, maybe creator, vlogger. There's a lot of people that will contact you. You, Sagittarius, you've been ghosting a lot of people in the first quarter of 2022 that they will touch base with you in 2020. Sorry, first quarter of 2023. You are going to focus on money, fame, maybe love at the same time, but... There's so much work that you would like to achieve in the first quarter. The second, quar the second quarter, you're going to chill. You're going to slow down. You're going to put a strict timeline on how you're going to make it, I would say, systematize it. Because I feel like the first quarter is a surge of amazing, like it's shake, you know, it's shaking of like your world is going to shake up the first quarter because of how amazing it is. Now you're going to ground it for the second quarter and put a strict timeline on how much you should just work and how much you should spend on love or you should spend on relaxed time because i feel like king of swords i feel like a bit of a headache i feel like for some of you the first quarter is about work 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 and then come around march april you're gonna date or you're gonna have a relationship this is where you're gonna slow it down so the second part the second quarter of 2023 you're gonna slow it down you're going to put more system, more legalities. Um, I would say more like you're going to regulate whatever, whatever business, um, abundance, money, maybe relationship, whatever good stuff that you will get. Good result, amazing result, extraordinary result offer that you will get in the first quarter. You're going to chill in the second quarter and put more system in place, legalities, like you're going to manage it well, your time. You're going to manage your how you work, how you love, and then how you spend time to rest. Because you feel like you have maximized your time in the first quarter. Now it's about maintenance of that abundance or maintenance of that relationship. You're going to put place a system. You're going to hire someone to help you out for some of you. And you're you're still busy with life and work and love. But it is your business is more of legality, managing it, slowing down to have more time to enjoy the abundance, less work, same amount of money. So you're gonna put, I would say, a strict discipline timeline to manage your business alongside with friends family or love so there is a um, very manageable very chill vibe i would say like king of swords strategic quiet silent you know four of wands seven of wands you would limit your time like maybe you you, you have maximized the first quarter to work 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 and then you've got you miss having a personal relationship or romantic relationship so I feel like the second quarter is about now that you're rich. <laughs> so you, you're you rich, business is good, you're going to take care of your personal relationship, romantic relationship, or your personal relationship to yourself, service, wellness. So it's going to be about you, your introspection. Like you would still work. I see you delegating. I see you strategically hiring other experts to help you out with your business for some of you are delegating for some of you because you're so ahead of the game in the first quarter you're somehow gonna chill in the second quarter and you're gonna take care of yourself for some of you are gonna study for some of you you are gonna be quiet with with life like the first the first quarter i feel like it's busy the second quarter it's gonna be quiet you're gonna put something legal you're gonna Take care of your romantic relationship, your personal relationship. For some of you, also picking up the Five of Swords, there's a lot of friends that ringing you in. Ring. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Like Six of Swords. But you're ignoring them. Because in the time that you were building it, they didn't believe in you. And now they want to belong in this glory. 
you know, this is where you reap the rewards for 2023. The first, the first half of 2020, the first quarter is all about working, working, working. The second half of 2023, it's about loving. It's about relationship to your money, relationship to your partner, relationship to yourself. It's about you enjoying what you build in the first quarter. This is you, I would say, nesting and thinking, what will, what will you do? for the third quarter or what will i do like you're gonna have a new year's like a half year resolution yeah judgment card the king of pentacles so much money fulfilled queen of cups so the third the second quarter of 2023 this is where i see you spending your money the money that you hustle you grind you're gonna spend a lot of time to yourself travel exploring exploring food places and you're going to spend a lot of time with love. You're going to fall in love with love in the second quarter. Relationship and personal relation. Personal relationship would be the highlight of the second half of 2023. Okay? The second quarter, it's about relationship. Some of the people who doesn't believe in you, maybe excess will come back. But you don't have time because by, by the second quarter of 2023, you've got lovers. You've got other business ventures. And also your second quarter of 2023, it's fully booked to travel. It's fully booked to enjoy. It's fully booked to reap the rewards of whatever you work hard. You're going to get lots of money. You're going to spend it to yourself or to your loved ones. And then I'm picking up that by the end, you know, January, February, March, April, May, by June, you're going to grind again. By June 2023, you're going to focus on what is my next target. Okay, you're gonna have I'm I'm seeing you guys setting up like a I would say, you know, there's a new year's resolution, you know. Half year empowering intention. So you're gonna set intention again. I feel like it's a it's a it, you're gonna slow down. You're gonna slow down, Sagittarius, and then you are going to set your life, your business, your love on fire again the third quarter of 2023 you're gonna pick up more challenges more work to generate more money you're gonna pick up a new hobby yeah king of cups this is you okay i'm very happy to whatever i am achieving the first half of 2023 what else can i do i want to fall in love with my life what else can i do in this beautiful life like there's something about you that you're maximizing for some of you are going to go global if you have a local business, you're going to go global. For some of you, you're going to move. The third quarter is, I would say, from domestic, you're going to go international. Like you're so confident. But you have less critics, less bashers, <laughs> because you have already proven that. So people look at you at let us not critic Sagittarius because Sagittarius is so inventive that Sagittarius can break the rule. So for you guys, you're going to go global. You're going to go and move. For some of you, you're going to get married. You know, there's some something tells me that um, it's time to tie the knot for some of you guys. Whirlwind romance in here. Yeah, nine of wands, temperance card. For some of you, you're going to elope and tie the knot. For some of you, you're going to go global. Something tells me the third quarter is that I'm bored where I am. I've maximized all of the business ventures. You're going to go global. Or for some of you, it's more of territorial. Like maybe, okay, I've been in this job. Come on, boss. Give me more. Let me go there. Travel, attend, seminar to learn. So I could dominate there. Like this is you. You dominate this. You want to dominate further. You want to create territorial, you know, assignment, business. You're going to branch out. The third quarter is about branching out. The third quarter is where you leave your comfort zone. You're going to move territorial. You're going to get married for some of you guys. You're going to commit to something bigger than where you are, where you live. Or something tells me that you're going to settle to something out of where you are domestically. Yeah, three of wands. You're going to look at your third quarter as something that okay this is my comfort zone i've been successful in here this is my comfort zone and i need more i want more and you're it's not even the money 
you know it's no longer the money that is your inspiration it's more of i want to dominate to go above and beyond i want to leave this comfort zone because it's not about the money anymore it's about you learning because if you go out of your comfort zone that is where you tap in to those hidden talents to those unused skills to those places to those territory that you've never been there and you realize that oh my gosh it's amazing to be here it's amazing to experience this it's amazing to have this feel and share with my family with my friends with my loved ones for some of you guys seven of pentacles you have so much abundance that you're going to help for some of you're going to have family friends for some of you you're going to choose and pick the family the friends you're going to help you're going to share the love sagittarius you're going to co-mingle co like this is your comfort zone this is your bubble you're gonna allow trusted people person to co-mingle with you or create a bubble and that's why for some of you you're gonna get married or there's a relationship that was relationship that would solidify because you're gonna let them in in your world and that is you breaking out of your comfort zone and opening yourself up more you know so this is good this is really good now you're gonna set more target to yourself by you know for some of you if you're only selling domestically you go international for some of you if you've been working domestically you'll go for global so there's something territorial territorial global domestic also commingle you're gonna choose the right person the right friends or family that you would share your blessings or share your business but there's something sharing caring share is the love territorial going out of your comfort zone going above where you live like going above and beyond where you domestically live there, there's a location involved in here okay now the last quarter sagittarius what is the last quarter for sagittarius you got see so the last quarter you have already moved you have a new life and this card oh move look at that six of swords king of cups you know, guys, for some of you, by the last quarter of 2023, you are totally in a life, in a job, in a situation where you never really expected that you would be there. So for some of you, you never expected that your finances, your work, your I don't know, money or house or relationship would transform to this. Like what I said, because you're so ahead of your game, the, the last quarter, you would look at it as something like, I cannot believe that this is how much I have achieved. This is how much I have. And you know the key? The key to you is that you are so freaking consistent. King of Cups. Like someone is going to be very, very impressed of you. In terms of this is where you get recognition. Okay? So for some of you, the last quarter of 2023... This is, you will get a lot of rewards and recognition. So for some of you, you'll get bonus recognition. You'll get rewarded. You'll get an award. You get more fame. But the fame is because you're being recognized by another party. For some of you, a person will thank you. There is a lot of incoming recognition, appreciation, reward. So for some of you, those who you have. For some of you guys, if... If you were the chaser or the doer, all of the love that you provide, that you send out to the universe, it will come back to you. I'm also getting like good feedback. Like this is a time where you sit and you look at what you have, 360, and you say, thank you. I got it all. Yeah, king of cups. Like this is you taking a bow and saying, I made it. In 2023, I made it. I manifested and materialized everything I want and I got more than I manifested. So you're getting a you have moved on, transform your life, and you're so grateful to the universe for every opportunities that came your way. So there's a lot of rewarding, gratitude, saltitude. I would say the last quarter of 2022, it's gonna be quiet. It's gonna be about you. 
it's gonna be you setting intention of course for the next new year but let's see let's get three cards to wrap this up yeah judgment card this is you being rewarded oh you're gonna fall in love so for some of you guys the last quarter of 2023 this is where you close you close the curtain you know you close the show because you are going to take care of your romantic relationship, your children, your family, right? The King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Judgment card. You know, the thing about your reading, Sagittarius, is you know how to hustle. You know how to work hard. But the last quarter is going to be all about family and all about partnership and all about solitude. You're growing. Yeah, Page of Swords. So for some of you, you're going to delegate work. You're going to shut down and not focus on work and just reap the rewards. And this is where you're going to get also a lot of black rewards for some of you. For some of you, you're going to focus on a one-on-one -on -one relationship. There's a special relationship that you would prioritize the last quarter of 2023. And by this time, your business, your work, you have achieved a lot. You're very satisfied. You're going to give yourself a break emotionally, mentally. And you're not going to grind. You're just going to love and fall in love and make love. Eat, sleep, repeat. King of Cups. The Queen of Cups. So this is your reading. How nice it is to end your 2023. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.